Hey, good morning, everybody. Here we are. You made it through another week. Happy Friday. Uh, got a, as always, some prayer. A little bit of prayer lined up. Then we'll have some, some fellowship after that. So um, just uh, go ahead and get your, your rosary beads ready. Um, and we... Uh, the... Um, if you are doing all right, as always, please put in your petitions, your prayers, your special needs. Put all those in the, the comment boxes as we go. As always, this rosary will be will be offered for y'all, for y'all's intentions, for um, both those who are praying now, or all those who are praying now, as well as as, as well as those who who jump on later, um, even even after this po this is posted and people watch the replays of it, um, because prayer is much much bigger than time. It's not bound by time. Because prayer is our relationship, our encounter with God. And God is not bound by time. So um, we uh, got a fun fun guest today, Lisa. So the uh, Catholic mom. <laughs> uh, a lot of great things to talk about after this rosary. So let me see if she's jumped on. We will get her on. There she is. It's Lisa. Let her jump on. As always, please. Um, hey, Lisa, good morning. Hi, Father. It's great to be with you. Good morning. Very, very early morning for you there. It, on <laughs> it is. I will admit it. It's a little bit early. <laughs> but what better way to wake up, right? And, so. Yes. All right. So true. Well, let's go ahead. And as, as you know, the how we do it, we'll, we'll just jump right into the rosary, the prayers. Fantastic. And then, and then we're going to, I just, I look forward to talking to you. I want to hear about sainthood. <laughs> And, uh, Me too. <laughs> yeah. and, um, and, and just how, you know, we can not only strive for saint, saintliness ourselves, but, but also uh, how we can help the kiddos do it. You know, they, sometimes they're the best teachers as well. But, um, so just the, the petitions or intentions that have been sent in for today's rosary, in particular from Kristen. Uh, we pray for her niece, Gwyneth, um, who will be confirmed later today, receiving those gifts of the Holy Spirit. Um, we pray for Kristen that she may be a good sponsor for her. We also pray for Lisa, who gives an update on her dad, Steve Garcia, um, on the surgery that he had. Um, and we, we pray for him before. And finally, for Tim and Maggie, who will be married today. So what, a, what another great sacrament um, that, that God will bless their marriage and uh, that they will help each other getting to heaven. Um, what, what would you like to pray for, Lisa? I would love to pray for my mom, Anne. Uh, my mom is in hospice care um, in end stage Parkinson's disease. So I'm just invoking St. John Paula Great and um, for her caregivers and caregivers everywhere who care for our elderly, especially. Sure. Okay, of course. We'll, we'll definitely pray for Miss Anne, especially on this, this feast day of St. Joseph. You know, I'm pretty sure that he knew Anne, the Mar mother of Mary. So, um, uh, we just pray for, for him to be with her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again uh, to judge living and the dead. From thence he shall come, in accordance with the scriptures, from thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And we pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Pope Emeritus Benedict, uh, and for all of, our, all of our bishops around the world, all of them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail, for an increase of faith, hope, and love, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. As always, on Fridays, we will pray the Sorrowful Mysteries. Today, being a special day, the Solemnity of St. Joseph, I um, just want to, throughout all these mysteries, pray for the grace of, of silently gazing on the... Um, the mysterious presence of Christ in our lives. So that will be a, a common petition for all of these, all of these mysteries this week, or all, uh, yeah, all of the mysteries that we prayed today. Uh, to, uh, to 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 be aware of Christ's presence uh, in those moments of our suffering. This first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery, urging at the pillar. Um, the Lord is bound to the pillar, and so for those moments whenever uh, it seems like we have no control of what's going on in our life, that, that we may see Christ's mysterious presence in our lives, even in that moment. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Um, there are many intentions coming in, so of course continue to offer this rosary for those intentions that are coming in, so... Um, please share those if you would like. Um, but of course, even if they're not written out, we are still offering these rosaries for, um, for those intentions. The third sorrowful mystery, Jesus is crowned with thorns. Jesus is mocked. Um, in this mystery, we pray for the grace to, to see Christ's presence uh, mysteriously in our lives whenever we are mocked by the world and by others, especially for our belief in him to see that he is with us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery Jesus carries his cross. Uh, we pray for those moments whenever we seem alone carrying our own crosses, that we may see Christ's mysterious and mystical presence there in our lives with us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth and final sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. This final mystery, meditating on the mystery of our Lord's death on the cross, we pray for the grace to, uh, to patiently and faithfully die to ourselves, knowing that the Lord um, is with us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy wow. Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray, Pray for us, us so, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let's pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. 
Grant, we beseech thee that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who is praying with us. To see your intentions going by is such a gift. And, you know, I wish we could say each one of them individually, but I'm going to be carrying those in my heart all day today. Yeah. You know, it is, it is, it is a grace, at least for me, praying to see a constant flow of, the, of these intercessions. Um, just like the beads that keep going through the hand, like all these petitions that come, they keep refocusing me on, on, on a reason for doing what I'm doing, you know, the, the intentionality aspect. Um, I love it. I yeah. love that this community so much. And uh, I just love the faithfulness with what's been created here. Yeah. So the, how long have you been praying with this community? But more importantly, what's the rosary for you? <laughs> the rosary? Well, you know, I'm going to be 58 this year in June. And um, the rosary is a gift my parents gave me as a very little girl. I'm the eldest of five in my family. And my mom and dad so when I was six weeks old, they left their home in, um, in Indiana and drove out to California with no jobs and a six-week-old baby not knowing that they, what they were going to do. And it's a tradition in our family that whenever we leave on a road trip, we always pray the rosary as a family. So I imagine on that trip that they probably prayed a lot of rosaries with a crying <laughs> baby in the back of the car. So they really gave it to me as a little girl. And um, we've always had such a love for the rosary. And it's, it's very wonderful to me that God gave me this great gift of, I don't know if you know, Father, that I, I founded CatholicBomb.com in our yes. home many, many years ago. In, in the year 2000, um, the great Jubilee year. And um, a few years ago, we actually became a part of um, Holy Cross Family Ministries, which was founded by Father Patrick Payton. So it's sort of like Our Lady bringing Catholic Mom to this beautiful heaven of a home, you know, under the uh, mantle of um, what Father Payton had created. And I just have to smile that when that happened, that it was like all along, God had this plan. We don't always know what the plan is going to be, but God works it out. So I have great, um, a great love for the rosary. And it's interesting. I mentioned my mom before we started praying. And um, my mom now kind of in the phase of life that she's at is very limited in what she can say out loud. But one of the things that she's always saying is the Hail Mary. And um, her caregivers, both those who are Catholic and those who aren't, know her to be a very prayerful woman. And I, I hope, you know, if my speech is ever limited, that the one prayer that I can say is the Hail Mary. That's, that's so beautiful. And there's something to that. Um, there's, I'm not sure how old your mother is, but I've, I've encountered many, many older individuals and in the faith. And, and while, while so many things may go downhill very quickly, um, the one thing that it seems like all of them, can hold on to and can can do without 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 tiring is you know continue to live their faith and often that's manifested exteriorly in their prayers yeah it's really amazing i mean it, and it's a it's a comfort to us that you know those words are on our lips and our hearts so close to our lady and you know it's it, we keep asking god so my mom has been in this kind of status that she's in for about five months now so it's it's been a long a long process um but we know if you're going to be praying now and at the hour of our death you know, it's like okay yeah. You know, when you're ready to take her home, Lord, I think she'll be ready. But it, it's just a yeah, I feel like she's teaching us um, through uh, what she's living right now. So it, in, in just a second, I want to hear some of your advice on, on forming saints, you know, teaching the, in particular. <laughs> that's I know it's a mission of yours. But, you know, being a saint, it, it doesn't happen, you know, at the end of their life. But you know, it, it happens because they've been working on it their whole life. For example, your mom now praying these prayers so easily just almost like it's her 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 breath her life yes breath, in and out it's not because she just started now but because well that's a habit she's done since that road trip right 
for, for 80 years because <laughs> her mom gave her the same gift. Yeah. It's, um, it's interesting. You know, I, I get that question about advice. I don't have any advice. Um, I'm living it, but I hang out with kids enough to know that they, uh, they sometimes understand Jesus's love more than we do. Sometimes um, the purity of their faith without all the questions that we have yeah. is, um, I think it's why I, I've gravitated towards this mission in the last few years because they just, you know, yeah. <laughs> they teach me. <laughs> Kids are fantastic. Just last Sunday at mass, there was a little boy this family always sits in the front pew and the little kids are, you know, just always rustling around doing what they're doing. But this, this little, <laughs> little rascal, just, uh, he's, he, uh, <laughs> throughout mass, he kept trying to whisper to his mother, but of course the whole church hears it, but he kept saying, <laughs> where is Jesus? Is he behind that door? Is he behind that door? Because they were sitting right beside the entrance to our, to our chapel. And uh, it just echoed through the whole church. Where's Jesus? Is he behind that door? <laughs> you know, knowing that uh, if mom and dad had talked about seeing Jesus there. Yeah, it's um, the topic comes up because I wrote this book this year. It's called um, I'm a Saint in the Making. Mm. And um, the message of the book is really this idea that God's given us each gifts, you know, to mm -hmm. be um, to be this way. But I think um, it's really I, I spend a lot of days like yesterday, I did four different school visits um, with this message. I love Zoom for this that I can go right out into schools. But when you ask the children, um, you know, even as, as young as pre-kindergarten, how is God calling you to be a saint? They have a ready answer. They sort of understand, you know, I can, I can be the one who helps the child who's been bullied, or I can help my mommy after school, or I can go into church and say hi to Jesus. It, it's not, you know, I need to do these big heady, I don't, I need to write a theological thesis on, you know, whatever. I need to love the way Jesus taught me to love. <laughs> they boil it down for us. Yeah. As adults, we often overthink that in, in so many ways. I, we almost, we grow older with age, but, and, but we fail to live that childlike faith. Of course, the Lord says, it, he always was pulling the children aside, saying, essentially, these, these fellows are the examples. Yeah. Um, so just a question on that. Maybe off what you've done with the children, which you still continue to do, mm -hmm. what advice can you give, can you give us? you know, mainly adults, but even for the children, for parents, with, you know, with children, twofold. How do we identify the talents that God has given us? For example, you know, what is God calling us to do now? Um, but then also, you know, being a saint in the making, how do we use those? So I, how, what advice can you give us for identifying a unique talent that we have that God is calling us to use? And how, how could we put that into action, practically speaking? I kind of feel like I'm preaching to the choir a little bit here to be with so many, with the holy priest and so many faithful people that wake up early in the morning to do this. But don't you think, Father, um, that the first thing is that we, we keep our hearts so close to Jesus. And um, people often ask me, like, how do I pass this along to my kids? Well, how do our, what do our children see us doing? How do they see us approaching Jesus with our hearts and you know how is is prayer the breath of our day so I think we have to be in prayer and we have to be an in intentional prayer a lot of us think okay well I'm going to pray as I do this or do that and that's great we should be doing that but how do we go into Jesus's word and scripture how do we cling to the Eucharist as often as we can even in these hard times you know how does this become our breath, as we talked about earlier. And I think it's in those moments that God sends us messages of our giftedness and, and that then, you know, as we perceive that in prayer or it's affirmed for us through different to, uh, to kind of reach out and, um, you know, and take the opportunities that that present themselves to us and and not because we think we're holier than everyone else but because we recognize that god made us uniquely to do this to me all the things that i've had a chance to do in life it wasn't because i thought okay i've got this down and i'm perfectly ready i founded a website about my faith because i had big questions and i wanted to walk alongside people to seek those answers and i, I think we need to not wait until we're ready to go out and do the work God's called us to do. We'll, he'll perfect us along the way, right? Don't you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so that, that, that opens up a couple of things. Yeah, it's the, um, 
so um, first of all, I'm a priest and, and part of my life, you know, essential aspect of my life should be regular, steady, dedicated, intentional prayer. But even as a priest, <laughs> the one who's preaching that, I don't always do it. And so in my own mind, I know what I need to do to make time to do that. Now, obviously, I don't have a wife and children. So the first question I have is, for mom and dad with, with three kids under seven years old, how do they intentionally pray? I mean, I have to go back to Father Peyton's message, Venerable Patrick Peyton, the family that prays together stays together. I think, you know, put aside the banners and the crafts and everything else and focus on very simple moments throughout your day when you can incorporate prayer in. Father Peyton believed in the family rosary. And, you know, even if what you can do as a family is one, one Hail Mary and an Our Father and a Glory Be at mm -hmm. some point in the day. Um, I, I always loved when my children were little using the kind of natural moments of the day. Um, you know, the, the first backing up of the car on the way out the door to school as a time to pray for our day. You know, the coming back together as a time to bless them and to pray together. Meal times, bedtime, you know, you weave it in. And I, I think we think sometimes, okay, if we can't do a full holy hour, then it's not going to be good enough. God wants whatever time we can spend with him. And that's a great gift to, to our families too. Yeah. And somebody is asking when your spouse isn't Catholic. And I just answer that really quick because mine wasn't for the first 17 years of our marriage. And that was where a lot of my questions were coming from. Um, thanks be to God that Greg came into the church um, at a certain point, but I want you to know um, that it's, your spouse's faith um, is your responsibility is to pray for them, to be a light to them and a love to them, and to take any guilt that you're feeling off of your shoulders. I think a lot of women in particular, if, they're, if their spouse is not the same faith, you know, they feel really burdened by that. And it wasn't really for me until I could realize that Greg's faith journey was his own, um, that it wasn't my responsibility, um, that you know, his coming to Jesus happened. Um, and so I don't know if you have advice for that, but that's one thing that I think is really hard for some families. And our, our families, even if they're not practicing the faith, see the light that we exude when we love Jesus well. That's, that's beautiful. That's one thing you mentioned about the kiddos. I want to go back to that quickly, that I think a lot of Catholics don't, don't do, or, or maybe, it's, maybe it's not common where I'm at, but you've mentioned blessing their kids. That's something we... As handing on those blessings. A parent has actual spiritual authority uh, over their children. And one of the responsibilities that comes with that authority is handing on blessings. So you can do that as simply as, you know, tracing across and say, my God bless and keep you or something like that. But all the parents, I would challenge you to do that. But thanks for sharing what you did about, about you and Greg. And I think it's connected to, you know, what started this great mission of yours, of Catholic mom, about questions so the, the fact that you had questions and you wrestled with them, sometimes we <laughs> run away from them because we think that a question means I'm doubting God or I'm not believing in God. And it's quite the opposite. So maybe, um, oh, and, and for my advice, you know, that for, for couples, you know, clear communication is they're your lover. Don't be afraid to open up your heart. And it's, and if you can't make yourself vulnerable with them, it's, it's going to be hard with anyone else. And so they're the best to do that with and, Open yourself up. Open yourself up. That's very vague, I know. <laughs> um, but don't be afraid to talk. Don't. The thing that you, something that I do in spiritual direction, in confessions, uh, it would be good advice for husbands and wife. Start with a thing that you do not want to start with. The thing that you want to hide or you want to keep, you want to keep put aside, the hard topic. <laughs> Just jump on it. Just just go right to it. Do the hardest thing first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it, it only gets easier from there. Um yeah. Uh, so, yeah, questioning. Tell us about your, this would be maybe a great point to finish on, but you're, you know, tell us about how your, your project began, what it entails, where we can find it. You know, it's, there's so yeah. much there. <laughs> um, I want to point everybody to I'm a Saint in the Making. Um, it's a children's book. It's, it's published by Paraclete Press. You can get it. If you're lucky enough to have a religious bookstore near you, please go there. They need our support. They're on the front lines of the mission field, but you can get it really anywhere that you can order books. So I'm a Saint in the Making. And um, 
I hope that the book is a, a, not only for children, but for their families as well. And it's been such a gift to share this with families, with homeschooling groups and parishes and classrooms. And I do these virtual visits just because my heart is really in this message. So all you have to do is reach out on Instagram. You can find me at Lisa Hendy or send me an email, lisahendy at gmail.com. Um, my hope for this project is that we all kind of recognize that God has a mission for us and in a world that sometimes feels very broken, that God needs us not when we're perfect, not when we're grown up, but right now, just as we are to be his light and his love. Um, I think change happens within our families, within our communities, and then it ripples out into the world. Yeah. So, and the, um, I love that you pointed out, you know, it's a, it's a child's book. But I think as, as grown-ups, we can often discount or disregard things authored to children <laughs> because we're grown-up. But, but I can tell you some of the greatest things I've, I've learned in the faith have, have been in, in children's books. I've oh, got, I love that book. <laughs> I'm right I'm here in my chapel, and, and um, uh, I've got children's books, and there's something about the clarity that is there. Whenever I'm preaching a homily directed mainly towards children, I get more positive feedback from adults than I do for other homilies. There's something about the simple terms. And it reminds us that we're children of God. Absolutely. Can I ask you a question, Father? Sure. Yeah. In, in just a minute, because I saw a couple people asking about it. Mm -hmm. You have the Memento Mori skull behind you. Yeah. And I saw a few people say, why does Father have a skull behind it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think so it fits into the topic of sainthood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and also on this today, the feast of Saint Joseph. Saint Joseph, the the the, the patron of the Holy Family, the defender of the Holy Family, the, the defender of the Church, the defender of the of the 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 domestic Church, the family here that we have. The skull is is ancient tradition, uh, Christian tradition of of memento mori, which means basically remember your death or remember that you will die. And you may be thinking, well, that's pretty morbid. Um, well, death is terribly morbid and, and where the word comes from morbidity you know the fact that you will die and sin causes us to, to die but we have hope in the resurrection right there's there's that's our reason for living and so with that reality in mind that Christ has conquered death if we die in Christ we will rise with Christ we will rise with Christ if we've lived with Christ okay if if we were if we've been a saint in the making then when we die we will become a saint. So to bring it back to why such an ugly skull around all these other beautiful religious things that I have in my chapel here, well, if I think and remember the reality that every day of my life that, well, I'm going to die, I'm going to die someday, that, that drastically changes the decisions I make, right? Whenever, if I think that I'm God, I'll do whatever I want. But if I remember that I'm a mortal and I have to give an account for everything I've done, that makes me think twice about the word I'm going to say, my next action, the next example that I give. So that's kind of a long, ex a long answer to say, it's a reminder that I will die. And remembering that I will die helps me to make better decisions here and now. I love it. And then we bring our lady in now and at the hour of our death, it all goes full circle. And today is the, the, the feast of St. Joseph. Of course, the, he's the, also the patron of, of a good death because it's tradition that he died before Mary and Jesus died, uh, or before, yeah, before Mary ascended into heaven and, and, and our Lord, uh, uh, Mary assumed into heaven and before our Lord died on the cross and rose from the dead. So he died in the presence of Mary and, and Jesus. And what, a, isn't that our prayer that all of us die in the presence of, of Mary and Jesus? So any final thoughts or final word no, you'd like to say? Thank, thank you for your yes. And, and thank you to the, um, the community here. Um, such a gift to pray with you. And, and even when I'm not doing this, I'm with you in my hearts and, um, I'm just, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for the opportunity to pray today with everyone and I'll be carrying your intentions all day. And especially for you, Father, for what you do to serve so many. Thanks, Lisa. Everyone go check out Lisa Henley on, uh, on Instagram, Catholic Mom, uh, Holy Cross. Um, uh, what's the name of the official group? Holy yeah, so if you go, if you look at for Catholic Mom Community or um, Family Rosary here on uh, on. Uh, the on Instagram Holy Cross Family Ministries um, anyway any way you want to connect we love it wonderful well we'll finish with the prayer 
Lord God, we give you thanks for this day. We, we uh, give you thanks for, for um, flooding us with your mercy and, and your love. Open our hearts to receive your grace. Um, St. Joseph, today we celebrate this great solemnity of you being such a great man, a great father, a great protector, and a great defender. We pray that you be our father, our protector, our defender. Uh, help us to, to know Mary uh, more intimately and trust in Jesus more perfectly and be more faithful sons and daughters of our Heavenly Father. Help us to be more open to the Holy Spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless. Thank you, Father. God God bless bless everyone. Have a great day.